Carrying on with the final plug-in on the main bus, it's the Pultec EQP1A. Similar to the Chandler Limited Curve Bender, this is an emulation of a vintage EQ. At a first glance, the configuration of the controls can be a little confusing to understand, so let's take a closer look. Moving from left to right, the first three controls that work together are the low frequency, boost and attenuation. Then the high frequency, working with bandwidth and boost, and finally the ability to attenuate at either 5, 10 or 20k. This EQ has a wonderful warm vintage character. On the main bus here, I'm using it as what's commonly called a happy face style EQ, adding a gentle boost to the low and high frequencies. I'm boosting and attenuating at 20 Hz. The EQ curve on the boost control is slightly different to that on the attenuation. This means that I can boost at 20 Hz and then add attenuation to remove any unhelpful lower frequencies. This technique is also a great way to shape the low end on a kick drum, which I'll have to remember to cover in a later video. I'm then also gently boosting at 12k with a fairly broad bandwidth, just to add a little enhancement to the higher frequencies in the mix. In this case, I'm not applying any attenuation from the final two controls. Let's check out what it's doing. <laughs> 